Chicago. Man, I have always loved this town. Hey, I'm Todd Newton welcoming you to the Tattoo Traveler. And what doesn't Chicago have to offer? I mean, great sports, the Bulls, the Cubs, the Blackhawks, for some of you, the White Sox, the history. I mean, Al Capone alone, all the bootlegging that happened here, the architecture, some incredible buildings. But what I want to do on this episode of the Tattoo Traveler is take you down some of the side streets, some cool watering holes, restaurants, introduce you to some of the great people here in Chicago. I think you're going to enjoy this one. I'm glad you're along for the ride. Let's get started right now in the great city of Chicago. <laughs> A lot of great memories here in the Windy City, my friend. I got in my first bar fight here in Chicago. And as far as you know, and since there's no one here to dispute it, I came out on top of that one. Whether you're hanging out on the South Side, in Greek Town, the West Loop, or Lincoln Park, there's something for everyone. Great shopping, incredible theater, all of the museums. Chicago is a city you have to see and feel. The architecture is some of the best in the world. This is the Lyric Opera House. It opened in 1929, believe it or not, just six days before the stock market crash. And as we go up, we now come down. This is the world famous Willis Tower, originally called the Sears Tower. And there was no way I was gonna miss out on the opportunity to go to the very, very top. It only costs $41 per person and I knew that this would probably be a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. When the Sears Tower opened in 1973, it was the tallest building in the world. And it held that title for 25 years. Today, it's the 23rd tallest building in the world, and every year, 1.7 million folks just like me take this ride up, 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 up to the sky deck and the ledge. And look at this view. Man, you've never seen Chicago look so good. It really is breathtaking being up this high. But you must go over to what is called the ledge. This is a glass balcony going out four feet. It's like you're standing on air. They tell me that on a clear day, you can see four states from here. It's a little nerve-wracking. But there's not a lot I won't do for a good photo op, you know. My wife, on the other hand, she thought about it, then decided no way. Next, we hopped in an Uber, cruised along Lakeshore Drive, which was beautiful even this time of year, and made our way to Wrigley Field. Now, you know I'm a St. Louis boy, a diehard Cardinals fan, so this wasn't easy for me, but there's so much history here at Wrigley Field, home of the Chicago Cubs. And if you have any respect at all for the game, you got to have some love for this man. Holy cow, Harry Carey. Now, Harry was actually born in St. Louis and spent the first 25 years of his career with the St. Louis Cardinals. After that, he spent a few years with the Oakland A's, the White Sox, and the final 16 seasons of his career was spent right here at Wrigley calling games for the Cubbies. And, of course, getting all those fans to sing Take Me Out to the Ball Game every seventh inning stretch. Harry Carey is an absolute legend. They call him the mayor of Rush Street because he used to love spending so much time. Oh, look at this. They even engraved Holy Cow right into the statue. He spent so much time at the taverns on Rush Street. Harry passed in 1998 at the age of 83. But his steakhouse lives on, and it's a favorite of Michael Jordan, Presidents like Barack Obama, George W. Bush, even game show hosts and tattooed YouTubers like this guy. But when your stomach starts growling, in Chicago, it's all about the hot dogs. And may I suggest the Wiener's Circle. But be forewarned, this is not the place to go if you're easily insulted. Take a look at what happened on my first visit. It was your first time you're fucking around here taking pictures like your paparazzi or some shit. What is the fucking food? Oh, I did. Believe me. And the yelling, it's all part of the fun here at the Wiener Circle. No harm, no foul. Then again, maybe I'm just a glutton for punishment. 
Like this guy on the wall of shame. Three baby mamas and two broke to even tip a dollar. And when that Chicago dog came out, minus the onions, of course, my friend, I heard the angels sing. We then strolled about six blocks down Clark to the legendary dive bar, Richards. Oh, this place has been around since 1926, and they open every morning, look at this, at 8 a.m., and the locals will tell you, this is where the wise guys have always hung out. Now, Richard's is the only bar in Chicago where, although it's technically illegal, you can still smoke indoors. But at a place like this, hey, I don't see nothing. I don't hear nothing except that sweet Rat Pack music coming out of the jukebox. Yes, yeah, Chicago is known for its watering holes. It's also known for art sculptures like this a bronze coil of well you can read right there what it is it was created by a local artist here in wicker park to remind all the neighbors to pick up after their pooches now not that it did much for my appetite but chicago pizza and oven grinder company isn't far away and they are famous for their pizza pot pies had to stop by and get one or two they come in either half pound or full pound serving and hey there's our favorite server alex yeah so we got two half pounders and all i can say is watch out for this cheese ah the perfect comfort food on a chilly day set in the perfect old school italian environment followed up with a little homemade dessert key lime pie and a brownie skillet sundae doesn't get much better than that. Yes, my friend, it was another perfect day here in Chicago. More memories were made, memories that will last a lifetime, and I'm glad you were here to share them. Please like this video, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel. We got a lot of great destinations coming your way.